we're back with the draft analysis with me and Pat. And now, in our second episode, we are going to be covering picks 11 to 21. And with the 11th pick, we have the Miami Dolphins taking Via Vea defensive tackle out of Washington. This kind of fills a spot for them, knowing that they just let go of Nahamakan Sue. Yeah, the same thing. Who cares? Nahamakan. 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 He's a jerk anyway. But besides the fact of his name, he was a very solid player. And even though he didn't make that many huge plays at Miami, he was one of those guys that would take two or three blocks at a time. And I think they're thinking that Via Vea out of Washington will fill that spot. <laughs> I have nothing else to say. Um, so at the 12th pick, the Bills take Lamar Jackson, quarterback out of Louisville. Um, every, everyone knows the Bills need a quarterback. They just got rid of their starter. They yeah. trade him to the Browns. So like, Rod Taylor. A, everyone knows they're either trading up to take a quarterback or they'll stay at 12 and take a quarterback. But uh, if they take something other than a quarterback, that's yeah, kind of wild. I mean, yeah, kind of so. shouldn't. And knowing that, what's it called? Lamar Jackson's kind of an upgraded version of Tyrod Taylor. He's the defending Heisman Trophy winner his freshman year. So we'll see how that plays out in Buffalo. Um, and then for the 13th pick, we have the Washington Redskins taking Denzel Ward, defensive back out of Ohio State. And this dude's probably the best DB in the draft, but he also. There's not the reason why we had him going earlier is because he didn't feel the need for let's see we had him going Makai Fitzpatrick going to Buccaneers because he doesn't really fit the Buccaneers like play style but I think he'll really be a good fit for the Washington Redskins teaming up with Josh Norman and going against the NFC East. Okay. Um, with the 14th pick, we have the Green Bay Packers taking Joshua Jackson, uh, defensive back out of Iowa. This and, uh, guy's really athletic, yeah. and he's just, he's just like Dennis Ward, but now he's more of a zone guy, while Ward is more of a man guy, so it kind of compares to like Janoris Jenkins, yeah. or someone like that, so, um, yeah, he'll be pretty effective there. Yeah. Then with the, let's see, uh, 15th pick, right, yeah, mm -hmm. we have the Arizona Cardinals taking Baker Mayfield, now he's the actual returning Heisman Trophy winner from this past year, this guy is a lot of hype, and I love it, but let's see if he can actually come in and make plays. Because isn't he like not that tall? Does he yeah, have kind of the height? Foot. Yeah, six he's foot. not super tall, but he's not short like uh, Doug Flutie. And this guy, he has an arm, and he has good leadership ability, but sometimes he takes that too far. As you saw with the whole handshaking and hat was called coin flip and being in the game against the Cup number one team. But that was very wild, and he has his off-field actions. It'll be exciting to see what his career holds. Okay. Uh, with the 16th pick, we have the Ravens taking Derwin James, defensive back out of Florida State. Now, where you said how Denzel Ward is the best defensive back in the class, I think this guy is. Um, the Ravens had probably the best overall defense last year in the league, um, like stats-wise. So, you know, just to add to that, uh, they really, they don't really have any secondary help. So yeah, he's just very athletic. He was just hurt because I'm a fan of Florida State, and for him to be out, it kind of hurt us. Last or you know, two years ago, when we would have had a run, but didn't happen. And then last year, he was solid, but he wasn't himself. But as comes towards the end of the year, he kind of found himself again and started making those big plays, or he came to his freshman and sophomore year self. And with the 18th pick, we have the Chargers taking Colton Miller, O-line out of UCLA. This guy, you don't really hear much about him because he's an offensive lineman, but he was solid all year in his whole college career. He was blocking for Josh Rosen, and it kind of makes sense that you see Josh Rosen's stats. It kind of shows what job he did, that if you have a good quarterback, it's not sometimes that he's such a great quarterback, which Josh Rosen is. But it also helps that he has solid old linemen like the Colton Miller and kind of helps. And I think he'll be a very good fit for the Chargers knowing that they do have a very dynamic offense. But Phillip Rivers just needs a little more time. I think he'll give it to him. Uh, 19th pick. Yeah. With the 19th pick, 
the Seattle Seahawks take Deron Payne, defensive tackle out of Alabama. Um, this guy, See. Seattle, just let go of everyone defensively, basically. Um, and you know they they need they need someone on the defensive line. They I don't think they they don't have anyone. They lost two, Michael Bennett, um, probably your best outside lineman. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, you you need, you need someone else to um, fill the space. Yeah. So like they still have Bobby Wagner and all, but and mm -hmm. is it Cam Chancellor still there, right? Or is it your Earl Thomas? Uh, are they both still there? They're both still there. They're both but still I think there. Earl Thomas is gonna leave. leave. Yeah. But if say Earl Thomas leaves, you only got Cam Chancellor and Bobby Wagner from the Legion of Boom. So the, C the Seahawks dynasty is over. Yeah, they're sad to say that. But they're, hopefully they're, they're rebuilding. Yeah, I think this is a good rebuilding step taking Deron Payne. Then with the 19th pick, we have the Dallas Cowboys taking DJ Moore, wide receiver out of Maryland, and this guy can flat out fly, and he's one of the and he's tall. Yeah, and he's a fast. Deep threat, and he's also a good kick returner too. Now he was one of the better kick returners in the college football last year, behind Pettis from Washington. But he also, besides this Pettis, like Pettis kind of struggled with being a receiver, but he was amazing being a returner. DJ Moore was able to do both. He's kind of like a Devin Hester, but maybe not on the same level because Devin Hester is kind of in the league of his own. But it'll be very interesting to see what he can do in the NFL. Can't stand the Cowboys, but don't be surprised if they win the NFC East this year. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. He's going to help him. Alright, now at the 20th pick, the Detroit Lions take Marcus Davenport, DN, Texas, San Antonio. Um, last year, the, the Lions had a great offensive team. They really didn't have any uh, defensive studs on yeah, the team. Yeah, they had Ansa, right? Or yeah, was he hurt? I don't remember. Clover Quinn. Yeah, but that's not amazing. And this guy... Yeah, I think three. We have eleven guys. Yeah, field. exactly. So, but he will. He's very athletic. Comes from a smaller school, but we'll see how he does there. Only oh, time will tell for him. They're a really close team in contention too. Yeah, Detroit. they barely lost because yeah. my Bengals <laughs> ruined their season last year. And now, speaking about the devil, my Cincinnati Bengals. We at twenty-one. We have them taking James Daniel O line out of Iowa. And with this pick, we're basically taking it safe. It's kind of like, okay, we we kind of took a risk last year with the idiot John Ross with one play, one fumble, one injury. Now we're kind of just like, you know what, we're going to go with all linemen because we need that. Andy Dalton needs more than a half a second to throw the ball. And hopefully James Daniels will get the job done. They got rid of uh, Andrew Whitworth two years ago. Yep, that so. kind of ended our old line being good. Oh, so they're obviously trying to rebuild. Yep. So this has been the second episode of Pat and Zach draft analysis. Come back for episode three coming very very soon because the draft is coming in three four or four days. days. Yep. Thursday. Four, yeah, Thursday. And I'm Zach. I'm Patrick. And this has been your ten, eleven through twenty-one. Thank you.